Hey anime fans, welcome back to Demon Anime. Today, we're diving into Monster Pet Evolution, a must-see series that's packed with action, drama, and unforgettable characters. Get ready to join us on an epic journey through this incredible anime world, as we explore everything that makes it so amazing. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Previously, the man called Mr. Liu because the state of the Devil Mantis is not right, and the Mantis seems to be very scared. Suddenly, he heard a big step coming toward them, then a big gorilla showed itself. Mr. Liu looked at it and said that the aura he feels is a lord-level monster aura. Then Mr. Liu realizes that it was the lord of the Black Ember Forest. The lord of the forest screams loudly and ready itself to attack which made the people there panic. The captain of the military thinks the leader and managers are useless. Suddenly, the military's killer golden beast got down from heaven which made the people think they're saved. When the lord of the forest is going to attack, the golden beast flies in front of it. Then the golden beast attacked the lord of the forest using its fire, but the lord of the forest shielded itself using his arm. The lord of the forest looks at his burning arm in shock, then turn around and leave. The military captain suggests to Mr. Liu to act quickly as their support can't go so far. The captain shouts at the people to assemble. The captain said to the man that the people with them are all a bunch of ripoffs. Also, he asks why they need the help of the people when their team in the military can take care of the situation themselves. The man said although they were one step ahead and noticed the change, they were able to take advantage of it and be prepared. But the world is changing more dramatically than they thought and the situation is increasingly dire. The man explains that in order to prepare for the non-governmental organization should grow and participate as soon as possible. Captain Mu and her team were in the cage, killing spiders using their beast and fire. One of her team said that their plan won't work because it was too wasteful of energy. The women also said although their imperial beasts can easily kill the elite quality monsters, the number of monsters is too many and their beast energy will be depleted soon. Captain Mu orders her team to adjust their formation, and she orders her defensive imperial beasts to stand in the front row to support the imperial beast that stands in the center. Suddenly, his defensive imperial beast was attacked by the spider. The girl order her thorn demon flower to use its thorn armor to pass at defensive imperial beasts. Then Captain Mu asks her beast to attack. Then Captain Mu beast blows out the fire to attack the spiders. After Captain Mu's beast killed the spider, they were happy because their tactics working. Suddenly, they hear people fighting, but they realize that they are still at some distance from the mother spider's destination. Captain Mu run and order her team to move. Finally, Captain Mu's team arrived at the mother spider's destination and saw the other teams attacking the mother spider. The team's leaders realize that the mother spider has little offensive power and is only large enough to reproduce, but she is actually a very weak fighter. Then Mr. Liu suggests to other team leaders that they should work together to kill the mother spider, and after that, they can divide the credits according to the wounds they inflicted. Then Mr. Liu orders his support to attack the eyes of the mother spider using the back row of long range which his support immediately follow. Mr. Liu attacked the mother spider's eyes but he was shocked to see that it had a shield. On the other hand, the girl and Captain Mu's team said the situation is deadlocked, and they had to get down to help the other team. Also, if the mother spider die without their team's help, the military will deduct their contribution and other teams will also reject them. Captain Mu looked at the mother spider, then said her teammate was right and they have to go down to help, but she thinks something is not right with the mother spider, and she had a bad feeling. Suddenly, the eye shield of the mother spider broke, and Mr. Liu notices it. Then Mount Liu Mantis saw it and it jumped into the mother spider's eyes and attacked it, which made the mother spider shocked. Suddenly the spider screams loudly and the people around hear it suffer. Mr. Liu wonders who's the one who said that the mother spider doesn't have an attack power. Suddenly Mr. Liu's eyes widen because the mother spider is evolving into a lord level aura. Mr. Liu immediately rides to his mantis and makes it run. While explaining that the mother spider is an evolving lord rank peak monster and apparently the evolutionary process of the mother spider was interrupted by them. Mr. Liu shouts at the people that isn't something they can solve and he orders the people to run. Meanwhile, in the forest, the captain of the military and the government were waiting for the teams to come back. Suddenly, they saw someone flying in the sky coming their way. When the captain looks up and he thinks something wrong, he shouted to alert all the troops and order them to prepare for the battle. Mr. Liu, who currently riding his mantis in the sky, shouts to hold the fire. When Mr. Liu and his mantis landed, Mr. Liu was down to the ground exhausted. Then one of the government's people run toward him to ask why he was alone. Suddenly, Mr. Liu stands up and grabs the man's suit tie, while asking if their government sent them there to die because the mother spider that they said was a little offensive monster is in the process of advancing to the lord level. The captain holds Mr. Liu's hand and tells him to calm down. Also, he should clarify the situation first. Mr. Liu ungrabs the man's suit tie then he explained that when they exploring the cave, they encountered a mother spider in the process of evolution. 
Due to the difference in strength, they had to be one-sided and been massacred. Also, Mr. Louie said in order to complete the mission, they sent out their best beasts, but all their beasts were killed inside the cave. The captain looks at the government researcher and asks them in an angry tone why they only said that the mother spider is with a little combat power, but the researcher can't say a word. Suddenly, the man appeared in the distance. The captain asks the man where is the mother spider and if it follow him. The man responded that he don't know, and maybe the mother spider chasing the others because after they came out, they were all scattered and fled which made the other military personnel look at each other. The captain said if they knew in advance that the mother spider was in the process of advancing to the level of the Lord, they won't just send a small amount of manpower. Also, the captain said if they can bring the mother spider back to the military zone and train it properly, it will definitely enhance the strength of their military zone. However, the mother spider failed to advance and become worthless, and the captain assured his people that they don't need to worry about the rest because one mountain can't tolerate two tigers, and the leader beast of the Black Ember Forest will definitely not let it go. Meanwhile, in Monster Park, Dazai destroyed the stone, which made the other owner shocked. The other owner tells his beast to look at Dazai in an encouraging tone. Gao Peng was petting Dazai when he thinks Mr. Liu unexpectedly met two leader rank and one half leader rank monster after only taking over a government task. Gao Peng knows that the hunting environment in the wild is getting more and more severe, and the value of the corpse of the common level monster is pitifully low. Then the price of an elite level monster's corpse is only enough to buy a snack for dummy. So, Gao Peng thinks he needs to let dummy and Dazai rise up to the leader rank as soon as possible, so that the success rate of hunting in the field is higher, and once his beast all advances, his reputation as a monster trainer would be established. If that time comes, Gao Peng plans to go to Yanjing City to get the senior monster trainer certificate and get his one regular and one assistant. As long as he grows according to the route, he thinks he can continue to become stronger. Demi has broken through level 14, but unfortunately, no one has completed the task set by the Monster Hunters Guild, and Dummy has eaten all cedar pine needles at home, so Dummy can only stand foolishly in front of the refrigerator and stared at it every day. And after all time of training, Dazai also reached level 13. Suddenly, Ting called for Gao Peng while showing her notebook. Then Ting said inside her notebook she write her own summary of training tips for defensive beasts. Gao Peng took the notebook and check it while thinking since Ting choose to team up, she have to be well prepared and with her notebook, they can formulate tactics based on the characteristics of her beast. Gao Peng read on one page of Ting notebook that the will of steel is always more important than physical defense for the defensive beast. Then Gao Peng looked at Ting while thinking that Ting is really serious about their team, which made Ting confused. Gao Peng walked toward Ting, then he tiptoed to reach Ting, and tapped Ting's shoulder, then Gao Peng said he suddenly feels that Ting is quite easygoing, which made Ting more confused. Suddenly, they heard someone in the speaker ordering all students to gather in front of the stage, and there will be no free practice. When all the students gathered, the coach said their first phase of training is done, and before they start the second phase he would like to announce a list of names. The captain showed a piece of paper and started to call the names of the student written on it, and the captain said all the names he called was eliminated and they should leave the field which made the student who was called gets angry and protests. Suddenly, the expression of the military trainers changes and asks if they have a problem, and said their instructors have seen how they have all been behaving in the past few weeks. The coach asks Zai Jiangyi if the phone is fun. Then he asks Hu Yanchen how can she sleep comfortably on the training field. Then the coach warned them that if they fool around and be lazy in basic training, then there is no point in continuing the training. The coach also said that the second phase of the training is a practical one, and if they continue with their kind of lax attitude, they will not only cause accidents, but they may even lose the lives of their beasts, which made the students shocked. One student said his teddy is the strongest, and absolutely can kill the monsters without leaving any behind. Suddenly someone said his teddy looks like a bluff, and he was afraid his teddy will be scared to crawl in an instant and ask him if you want to fight he still need his yellow-tailed king scorpion beast. The two men glaringly look at each other, then they shout at each other, which confused other students. Suddenly, the coach said there should five people in a group, and they should get ready to start actual combat training. Also, the coach said the new group will be led by an instructor so they need to hurry up to find a group. The two classmates immediately jumped toward Gao Peng and Ting while shouting to other students to find other teams because there are teammates of Gao Peng and Ting. The other student starts to make a teammate. Suddenly, the coach appeared on Gao Peng team while saying hi. Then the coach formally introduces himself as Zhang Renbai, and he said he'll be in charge of their group's practical training. Then Renbai asks Gao Peng group who wants to be the first to try. Renbai introduced the monster named Steel Pig, and it was level 9. The Steel Pig status is weakly wounded. The other teammate of Gao Peng shakingly asks Renbai if they can get a different monster. Renbai pointed to the other monster named Hairless Bloodhound, and it was level 10. 
The hairless bloodhound quality is elite and its status is moderately injured and it was alerted. Dao Peng thinks the hyena looks unimpressive but it is actually an elite quality, and if his teammate gets excited and go berserk, the hyenas can be much more aggressive than the wild boars. Dao Peng walked toward Renbai and said since no one is gonna try, he'll be the first to challenge. Renbai released the wild boar out of its cage. Then the boar run towards where Gao Peng and Da Zai were. Da Zai changes to his combat form and Gao Peng ordered Da Zai to go ahead. The boar scream and attack Da Zai, but Da Zai avoided it, then Da Zai jump above the boar. Da Zai open his mouth, then bite the boar, which made the boar scream in pain. The boar jerked Da Zai off with force, then Da Zai was thrown to the ground injured, which make his teammates shocked because they think Da Zai lose. Gao Peng realizes that Da Zai is at a disadvantage, but Da Zai has already taken control of the situation because the boar is poisoned. Da Zai toxin has been injected into the steel pig along with the attack. The more violent the attack of the steel pig, the faster the toxin spreads. Suddenly the boar's feet shake, then the boar collapsed to the ground severely injured, which made his teammates and their beasts shocked. Da Zai stands up and looks at the lying boar. Renbai said the steel pig's face was blue, so it was clearly poisoned. Then Renbai congratulates Gao Peng because he passed today's training, and his centipede is very toxic and had good combat sense. However, Renbai said it's better to let Da Zai poison sparingly, otherwise it is difficult to- Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into this week's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about anime. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic and any questions you may have. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Also, I'm always looking for new ideas for future videos, so if there's a topic you'd like me to cover, drop it in the comments as well. Your feedback is incredibly valuable to me, and it helps me to create content that you all enjoy. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.